I'll bet Brennan wants me to sit at his table. Here's my Megazord. Well, it's not mine, but is there yours? it is. That's mine. Okay, I won't throw it away then. <laughs> Alright, thanks. <laughs> Alright, well first, the teeth are going the wrong way. They go like that. That helps. <laughs> you know, don't have them like looking all weird. Alright. I mean, you can do that. That's ugly. Yeah, that doesn't look bad. I was definitely expecting this to be a lot worse based on what I've seen and heard online. Seems pretty sturdy. I was not expecting this to be die-cast, were you? I remember back in the day when people used to call everything a brick, well, now we've got a very articulated Megazord. People always want to bring up the SOC Megazord, but that ship has kind of sailed. So if you missed out and you're looking to buy a new Megazord, this is currently what's being offered, and it's really not bad. I'm also not calling it perfect either. Looks like the legs have more articulation, I just wasn't pushing hard enough. The tail doesn't really move. Fully painted though. It separates like that so the Megazord can have articulation in the waist. It's not bad. My main thing with this, I just I wish the eyes weren't stylized like that. It's the main stylized choice that bothers me. These come up. Yeah, these can come up. down, the mouth opens. Yeah, I was kind of looking at this, I was like, mm. Seems cool. It just seems like a, just an overly articulated, updated version of an old one. Yeah, I mean, that's what it yeah, is. I've got but... the Soldier Goken version, oh, so no. backside. Trouble. Uh-oh. It's Megaforce. Megaforce, Azim. <laughs> He's coming back from my... <laughs> no. He's coming back from the to come get uh, This is not as bad as people are talking about. No, I, I don't really see what the... After so this was the first award that I decided we want to put out and have people play with. Because I felt like this is one of the things that got a bad rap. Like it did. on the internet. I'll but agree. when you actually see it in person and touch it, you're like, it's not well, over the moon, but this is actually not But bad. some people aren't posing it right, so it looks stupid. Yeah, it looks... They, they pose <laughs> it in really weird. If they don't pose problem. it right, it doesn't look good. I would a with mouth yeah, opens. Yeah. But yeah, the, the fact that these legs aren't as poseable as they could be kind of detracts that's, from it. But I feel like that's the only sort of have an issue with. Pterodactyl is not much you can do with it. There's not much you can do with it, yeah, you know, right? it, it is what it is. Yeah. More people came. Hello. What'd you do? I followed you for quite a long time. Oh. Well, now you're in the video. <laughs> oh <my goodness. laughs> We're playing Power Rangers. Awesome. Okay, hold on. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, I'll eat Mia now. Yeah. <laughs> Mia doesn't know. Yeah, I'm gonna get uh, John to sign it. Hey Mia. From Major Ranger. He's missing his cannons. Mark is probably. Yeah, cannons are missing. Uh, so there's. I know they come. They yeah. Just, oh yeah. In fact, I think these. Galaxy Glider, Hank Ted. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Sorry, Brennan, we uh, co opted your booth. Whoa, 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 what's going on here? Hey, we're, hey, we're, hey, we're playing hey, Power Rangers. Hey. You can play too. That's true. We what can is break going it down here? Here to Ford. We're, we're doing a toy <laughs> review on your booth. I figured you want me to do that. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, keep reviewing. I'm watching. Oh, sorry. <laughs> now he's just playing, though. <laughs> well, I, keep I, got playing, him, okay. I got him surfing. Oh. Wrong season, still dinosaurs though. That's right. Uh -huh. uh -oh. hey. Starting it all. <laughs> Come to our booth. I, I just, I didn't look at the schedule. Right. I forgot you guys. You can have here. your booth back. Thanks, appreciate it. Do you want my coffee or I'll take that? I mean, you know, I got one. More coffee the better. <laughs> right. All right, here we go, man. We'll go give this back to Marcus. Come see Brandon. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> So I know there are people that skipped the original Megazord in Japanese version back in the early 90s. I know there are people that aren't interested in the non-transforming Megazords, which there are a lot of different versions of. I know people skipped the Miniplot. I know that people didn't like the 20, uh, 2010 Megazord or the 2013 Legacy Megazord. There are even people that skipped the SOC Megazord. 
and you know there have been the, the big vinyl figure that looks exactly like it was on TV that doesn't come apart. There were the Legacy Zords that, that didn't transform. There, there are like just so many versions of Megazord or the Dinozords. Imagine X even did them. Uh, so, you know, th there, I know there are people that skipped the original Hasbro Megazord, which was a little cheap, but, you know, looked better with the stickers and the paint. Now we have yet another version, a fancier version from Hasbro, and I know, I know a lot of people are passing on that one too. It, we're, we're coming on 30 years now, so like, if you really want a Megazord, I think you kind of gotta pick one. <laughs> I, I don't know what Megazord is gonna come out that's gonna blow all the other ones away going, you know, from 2022 all the way back to 92. Um, I, I don't know that that's coming, so there are a lot of versions out there. I mean, if you don't want one, obviously don't get one, but, you know, if you want a Megazord, <laughs> I, I just, I, I don't know what is going to come out that's going to be the right one for people. The SOC really is probably one of the best that we're going to get. If you look at prices, that's really expensive now, you know? It, when, when it was out, was the time to get it. Uh, now it's, I, I see it's selling for five, six, seven hundred dollars online, plus shipping in some cases. So, uh, the Hasbro Megazord, it's good. Uh, my main concern would be if it breaks or something like that. Uh, I didn't have any trouble with, you know, in the brief time that I was playing with it at the booth. I don't know, like, what it is that people are expecting. We've had diecast, we've had non-diecast, transforming, non-transforming. Yeah, like I've said in previous videos, what you saw on TV, you saw a guy in a suit during, you know, when it's the Megazord, they had different versions of the Dinozords. So there was a guy in the T-Rex suit, there was a model of the T-Rex, and like the different models, they look different. So there's never going to be a Megazord that's going to look absolutely perfect in every mode. Like uh, Super 7 just did a T-Rex that looks a lot like what you saw on TV. Bandai did a T-Rex Zord that didn't transform that looked a lot like what you saw on TV. I think there's even a vinyl figure that looked really good of the T-Rex. But once he has to transform, he's not going to be able to be kind of as big, you know, guy in the suit-ish looking as, you know. Hasbro's, it's, it looks really good. It's a little stylized, which could be good, could be bad. Some of it I like. The eyes on the T-Rex bug me a little bit. It's not the biggest deal. I still don't have my own, so when I get my own, I'll be able to show you some more things. It's got replacement hands. It looks like it's got the chrome sword. I don't know if Titanus is coming, but we know the Dragonzord is up for pre-order, so if you buy this Megazord, you know that there's going to be a Dragonzord to go with it. It's cool that each ranger has its own cockpit in the Zord. The Zord has a ton of articulation. It's nicely painted. I'm going to end here. Thank you guys for watching. Good night.